While you can charge credit cards upfront on the online store, you may be interested in how to take payments for orders you have placed over the phone, in store, or received online without payment yet. This video will guide you through the different ways you can take manual payments for these orders in Bookable. Open up an order from the order screen that you haven't taken payment for yet, and the status should say payment due. In the order, you can click the arrow next to the payment status on the right hand side to bring up the drop down menu. The first method of payment is manual. This is for a charge that you have conducted outside of Bookable that you can register a bank transfer for, a payment that you have taken with a card machine in store, a cash payment, the use of a check, the use of a voucher, or any other method. You can adjust the amounts for the order as well as the security deposit and hit register. As it does not process any payment itself, this is simply a note that the order has been paid for and the payment status should be updated. If you need to edit this manual payment or refund it um, externally, for example, you won't be able to refund this directly from Bookable as it was taken externally, but you can go ahead and press edit or delete. If you wanna charge the customer's credit card on the spot, for example, click the credit card option to bring up the payment terminal. You will have needed to connect to Stripe before this step, which you can do so in your Bookable settings. What you will see is that Bookable separates the payments based on security deposit and amount, like you saw in the manual registration screen. If you do not want to charge the whole order amount or deposit at this time, you can edit the number fields and click the credit card panel. You also have the option to authorize payments in Bookable instead of charge them. This means that instead of charging the card, you hold the funds on the customer's credit card until the items are returned with a maximum waiting period of seven days. You can also conduct different methods for the order amount and security deposit, meaning maybe charging the order amount and maybe just authorizing the security deposit as it is refundable. This is a great way to avoid the refund transaction charge on an order. You can enter in the customer's card details and hit charge. If the customer does not want to read their credit card details over the phone or hand them over to you in store, payment requests may be the best option for you. Payment requests are a clickable link that you can send to your customers via email that will allow them to enter in their credit card details and pay for the order in their own space and their own time. You can enter in the amount and security deposit if it is different and you can write a short description if you like and hit create payment link. Once created, you can hit the copy to clipboard button and you can email it directly to your customers. In your bookable orders screen, click send email and choose a template of your choice, maybe order confirmation and paste the link in there and you can hit send. Once the customer clicks open the link, they can enter in their card details in the fields they will see and the payment status in Bookable will be updated to say paid. For now, it says payment due as the payment has not been completed yet by the customer, but you can see that a request has been sent with the request details. You can have a view of the payment link by clicking the link into Stripe, or you can cancel the request at any time. You will need to connect your Bookable account to Stripe to be able to conduct payment requests. In any of these methods, once it's completed, will update the payment status to say paid and the transaction details will appear underneath. For manual orders, this will look something like this. You can see the payment has been received. You'll see a link to delete it, to edit it. And for credit card payments, you can refund directly off the bookable screen. The last method of manual payment is through an invoice. Many bookable users like to edit their documents to include their bank details and send invoices to customers via email. If this is for you, you can click into your bookable settings and you can click the link to documents and click the link into invoices. Here you can scroll down and find a link to enter in your bank details into the invoice footer and some other formatting options for this document as well. If you would like to set up an invoice due date to apply to these invoices, you can click the invoice due dates link in the subheading and click enable invoice due dates and set the time period of days for which the invoice will become overdue. On your order screen, 
you can click into the order and click pro forma to generate the invoice. Here you've got all the necessary information in regards to the order as well as the transfer information you've just embedded in this document. You can hit finalize and send this over as an email attachment with an invoice template and hit send. Once you receive payment in your bank from this client, you can click into the order and update the payment status for a bank transfer. On your document screen, you will be notified with the invoice date panel as to what the due date is for this order to keep track of overdue invoices. And now you're all set. You have now successfully learned the different ways you can complete manual payments in Bookable.